Hello, what's up guys? And for today's video is I'm going to talk about uh, Yondu's item build. Since uh, I've noticed that uh, the peak rate of Yondu has been significantly dropped since uh, uh, due to his nerf for these past updates. And because of that, his uh, item so as we all know uh, probably most of you are uh, building or buying silent hunter as your first build and yeah so it's a uh, probably a good item since you can able to uh, spam your yaka arrows due to uh, because of he uh, because of the attack speed that he gained and to be honest uh, it, this item doesn't really do much damage in early it's only good for uh wave pushing or wave clearing in in your lane and as the game progress uh you'll be having a hard time on dealing uh the same amount of damage from the uh pre-nerf of of Yondu and of course your ultimate also affects with that since uh silent hand doesn't give that much damage anymore and it will really cost you a lot uh when it comes to early to mid game so what i usually do is uh, buy double dagger so double dagger is, uh, is a great item for Yondu since it has a cooldown and a mobility and a uh, movement speed so uh, it will benefit your uh, skills such as your first skill and also your ultimate and by just that item uh, you can gain uh, pretty much uh, decent damage with your ultimate in the early game and you, and you can also uh, spam your ultimate since it has a cooldown reduction of 15% so you can be able to uh, spam it in the minion wave for you to be able to uh, farm quickly so this is the uh, alternative version of uh, fast clearing when you buy silent hunter and next thing is of course the boots, the attack speed boots for uh, additional damage and next thing is the night sword. So night sword is a really great item for beyond. So as you hit your uh, yaka arrows from the enemy, it will automatically proc the night sword passive. So and with that uh, you also gain mobility or move speed and it's a uh, it's a, uh, you can use that mobility to chase down enemy when you are since uh, Yondu's uh, chasing a bit uh, potential is really that is really hard since 
it's hard to uh, hit hit the, that yaki arrow when someone is moving far away from you and with that mobility uh, you can somewhat uh, re uh, reduce the gap between the enemy so as you can see so, and it also good for kiting if you are uh, if you are being chased down something like this so you can be able to get away very quickly and next thing is the twilight blade so twilight blade is a great item for uh, for uh, ra uh, raising your ultimis uh, ultimis damage and also the critical and the true damage from Twilight Blade. So next thing is the Gungnir. So for you to be able to uh, penetrate uh, tank or beefy heroes such as tanks. And probably your last two items will be uh, Silent Hunter. So, uh, so it's quite the opposite. So we usually build a uh, Silent Hunter for the first item, but now uh, we are going to build a uh, Silent Hunter for the our last build. So. For you to be able to have the, the, uh, that 50% 50, 50 critical rate, uh, total of 50% critical rate due to your Twilight Blade and the Silent Hunter. So, so once you hit uh, your enemy with your Yaka Arrows, and once it, a pro, uh, once it break, crit, and it will do significant amount of damage and you can be able to uh, three hit three hits uh, three combo any squishy heroes uh, for such as like this all right so uh, it's quite uh, we need the additional damage so for the last item is the Valkyrie bow for more for the target's current HP so you'll be able to uh, so Valkyrie bow will uh, gain you an attack speed for you to be able to spam even more with your Yaka arrows so, so as you can see uh, I can spam my Yaka arrows very very fast so you can see that damage once it crit it, it, it is really really uh painful so once uh so once you hit the late game this uh item build will allow you will which will allows you to uh uh burst squishy uh squish targets such as mm or uh mage And you could probably also uh, build Heimdall Sword or, or a God Slayer. So it, it will really depends on your 
uh, type of enemy since if uh, since if there are a lot of uh, mobility heroes you could uh, you could buy uh, God Slayer for addition for an additional uh, mobility and replace this with sky shadow so as you can see my uh, move speed has a 424 of total and once you uh, proc the my sword it will also gain you can also use him though if your uh if you have uh, a lot of uh sustain if if the enemy has a lot of sustain you could use a uh, handle sword since it can also uh as you can see there is a red bar uh above the enemy so it really it is really working uh, with yondu so uh i guess there you have it uh, i hope uh i hope you learned something about this video and i hope you also enjoy uh watching this video so be sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel and I'll be see you I'll be seeing in my next video.